In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to publish our quizzes in Articulate Quiz Maker 360. So let's say we've completed our quiz. I'm going to go up to Publish. And that'll open up a Publish window. And you can see that I have a number of options. First is I can publish to Articulate Presenter. So if I'm using Studio and working with Presenter and PowerPoint, I can publish my quiz to a PowerPoint slide. So right now I don't have any open, but you can see I can insert this as a slide. So it'll be a slide in the PowerPoint file. Or I can insert as a tab in the player in the Presenter published output. So if you're working in Studio and using PowerPoint, you can publish straight to that. Uh, or when you're working in Presenter, and PowerPoint you can insert the quiz. And we'll actually cover that and the publishing in more detail in the presenter tutorials. You can also publish to Articulate 360 and that'll go up to the review tool. And you can use that to share a published output or you can have reviewers look at it and provide some feedback and comments. And then you can publish for web. That'll give you a published file and then you can upload that file to a server and then provide the URL for your users. And then you have Articulate Online. You can also publish to Learning Management System. And then just all you need to do is select your output options. We'll just choose 2004. Choose your reporting and tracking and then just complete this information which is pretty straightforward. And then hit OK. And then when you publish it you'll get the file that you can upload to your LMS. If you have any questions about that, make sure to talk to your LMS administrator. And then you can always jump in the community and ask that we have a lot of people using different LMSs so they can help you get those things connected. Then you can publish to Word as well and that'll give you a, a Word output of the quiz. A lot of people like to use that for reviewing or they may uh, strip it clean of some content and use it as a uh, text-based quiz. So it's just a matter of what your needs are. Now when you do publish, you'll notice that in most of the publishing options, we'll go to 360 for example, you'll see these properties. And then you have that for web and LMS as well. Now you'll notice on the properties here it says HTML5 with flash fallback. What that means is that by default it's going to publish to HTML5 and flash. And when the user accesses the course, it's going to load HTML5 first. Now some older browsers aren't compatible with HTML5. So what it's going to do then, it's going to fall back to Flash. It's going to load the Flash player and, and then load the content that way. So this is the default and it's probably going to make the most sense for you. Um, this way you don't have to deal with issues when people are accessing your course with older browsers. Uh, if you click on this though, you do have the option of doing uh, just HTML5 publishing or you can do publishing where Flash is the default. And if they don't have a Flash player they can go to HTML5. Or you can publish to just Flash. Um, so by default it's going to be HTML5 first and then Flash. And then of course you can also publish so that you can use the Articulate mobile player on the iOS and Android device. Um, so let's go ahead and hit OK. And then uh, you can choose your player and you can optimize how you want that to play. So the defaults probably work fine, but if you want to increase or decrease the publishing quality, you can do that here. Now one of the things to keep in mind is if you increase the publishing quality, your file size is going to be larger. And so that may impact playback. And then on the opposite side, if you decrease the published quality, your file size will be smaller, uh, but there will be some degradation. I usually tell people if you want to play around with it, uh, publish a demo at the highest quality and then publish a demo at the lowest quality. And then you can compare the file sizes and you can also compare the actual quality. So a lot of times you're cranking down the quality and it really doesn't make that much of a difference uh, for the end user's experience. Uh, I just usually keep it at standard, but again, you may have uh, some bandwidth constraints or things like that where the end user may not be able to stream the content as efficiently. So then having the smaller file size is really going to come in handy. But just go ahead and play around with that and see what the differences are and how that works in your environment. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and hit publish. And then when you're done publishing, you're going to have a few options. So one is you can view the quiz. Uh, you can email that. You can upload it via FTP. Uh, you, you can zip it up and so you get a zipped version of the quiz. You can send it somewhere. Or you can actually open up the publish folder and look at what you have. And let's look at one other thing. So I'm going to close this. 
when you're publishing courses, you're going to have that HTML5 or the Flash output options. Uh, when you're using HTML5, you're going to have these different mobile players. So you're going to have a player that's for the desktop. And then when you go to the different mobile devices, the player that the end user sees is going to be different. So they're going to get a responsive mobile player that's optimized to work really well on their device. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind when you're working with your publishing output. And then that's basically it. So uh, we have a lot of tutorials to help you get started to learn uh, QuizMaker 360. So watch the tutorials, do the practice activities. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community to ask. We're always there to help you out. And then we have all sorts of tutorials and tips and tricks uh, in the community to help you out as well.